I love tiebreakers. We have to provide as much quality content for essential tennis as we can. You're contractually <sighs> obligated. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this better be 20 to 22. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah! Oh, right on the line. Great serve. Thank you. First serve. Oh. Nice return. Oh, you read that. Yep, nice shot. That's a great slice. Chris read that all day. He, yeah. He was running before he even hit that angle. Yeah. Oh, two. Oh, bad three points. I'm patting my inner Romo on the back right now. There you now. go. I'm probably celebrating way too early. <laughs> Brian has returned very well. He has. Oh, you gotta call that out. Mm -hmm. He's given a lot of points away. A lot, I feel like. And if this is one of those that kind of, you know, if, he, if this flips it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. He knows it. I yep. blew it. <laughs> Another one. And the hardest thing right now is if mm -hmm. you're Chris, just to be like, we're even like basically correct hit the reset button hit the reset button go back to zero zero do it to keep doing what got you up three one in the business it's so much easier said than done in, correct in this moment 100 <laughs> percent mentally <sighs> easiest thing in the world is to sit up here and talk about it rather yeah. than to hit be the there and button. do it exactly <laughs> yeah it's easy <laughs> oh, right on the back of the line. Oh, hit the oh, line great nice return shot. good ball No. <laughs> I think it was in. I didn't I really see the, it because I thought it was in the net. The logo was in the way, so I couldn't see it. That's, now it's 5 4. <laughs> On Ryan's racket. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a good return. <laughs> Are you sure about the college eligibility? <laughs> Garbage. The probability of back-to-back-to-back -back -to -back <laughs> return drop shot winners. No. I. 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 Oh yeah, good yeah, Chris. It's too much. Nope. How did I miss that? Just missed it. No. Got the return, Every shot is good right now. Yep. No. Oh, I really want to throw something. Can Chris bounce back? Mm hmm. That's the million dollar question now. Oh, that's, just, that's just one of those as a player, you know he's thinking about two things. Number one, the set point that he had, the grinding out, Ryan hit the winner, and then the fact that he, you know. Just a couple of, there's a, what, a call, and then like the. The, the double fault. Return, uh, drop shot. Yeah. Yeah. After, after a double fault. That's, that's just really tough. Yeah. I'm really not happy. Uh, that did not go well. There's no excuse for that. I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to say. I just, I'm so disappointed in what I just did. I had a 3-0 lead. <laughs> I just played so bad. I mean, he had a lot of balls in. He did things, you know, he's making me hit a lot of balls and I'm run, I've run a ton during this match, but I'm just missing so many balls that, that I don't typically miss. And 
there's, there's no excuse for being up 311 and losing that tiebreaker like that. So, uh, I guess now best case scenario is I get to play another tiebreaker for the third set. So, um, nice. That's what I'll try to do. Try to get there. The really tough fought first set. It was a real grind fest. I don't think either of us played as well as we could have played. I definitely started to get my forehand going a little bit toward the end of that set and the tie break, which really saved a couple of important points for me. Um, I feel like Chris probably didn't play as well as he would have liked to. That set missed a lot of kind of routine shots that I get a feeling he usually makes. Uh, this set for me is just all about trying to dictate with the forehand and trying to get the first serve percentage up. Because when I was holding serve, it was high first serve percentage, a lot of missed returns off the serve, and then of course the double faults are killer, which is something that just kind of pops up for me from time to time, is just the double faults when you get a little tentative on hitting that spin serve in. Uh, just kind of take some off it and try to push it in, and then it goes deep usually. So I'm going to try to clean that up and play with some confidence this set. Make errors early and often. That's the plan. First serve percentage. Yeah, so what just what just happened in essence from my perspective is Chris took that five percent consistency dial turn that he made in the second set and just turned it back to where he was in the beginning of the mm -hmm. first set. And if he stays at that level of steadiness, then I think Ryan takes this set rel relatively handily. Mm -hmm. First game of that set, Chris came out trying to fire to the corners, which I feel actually works to my advantage because if I just kind of grind balls back in play, then he's if he's being aggressive, he's making the first mistake. So we'll see if he goes back to trying to grind or if he's more aggressive off of his serve too. I actually did not break him more than once in that first set. So I've got to try to get one of those on the board early. Um, just have to get returns in play and then scramble some points out is what I'm going for on those return games. Well, I'm really uh, not doing very well <laughs> like, mentally. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say. I, I've got to get it together. Um, <laughs> I've got to do better. It's just, just uh, I didn't come all this way to, to play bad. It's like I just... <laughs> Ah, I just gotta get, I gotta get more balls in the court. I gotta move my feet. And uh, when I get the ball to, to play offense, I've got to start hitting that ball. Uh, right now I'm just, I'm missing when I get that opportunity. So I've got to start making that shot, so. If you start swinging big at everything, I don't think it's. He's, he's, he's feeding into exactly what Ryan wants. Definitely. Take one. Nice serve, right on the line. Return game's still not going well. <laughs> no. No, it's a little deep. No. No. Chris is like looking to shorten points, mm -hmm. and that's no bueno for Chris. Mm -mm. Uh, 
at this point like you you just don't want it to turn like ugly mm -hmm. for for chris you know mm -hmm. 15 love first serve <laughs> that's a great shot chris thank you Chris is a fight. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. like a fighter, and he hates losing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if he sees a, a little opening, uh, he'll definitely take uh, it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, doing very well and it doesn't happen very often to me uh, but it's happening now it's just I just feel I've got to find a way to get to start fighting again I just don't just super disappointed in myself and I've really been playing well coming into this and just I mean he's he's hitting a lot of balls on the court and just I'm making so many errors on balls I should I, I shouldn't be make I shouldn't be missing um, and now I just my, my energy level is really low <laughs> down three zero, so uh, it's just yeah. So I need to get it going, I guess, um, or I'm gonna be done soon. So uh, hopefully, I can find a way to to get myself out of this hole. So we'll see what happens. Starting off pretty well this game, going back to the consistency tactic that I used to start the first set, and after that first set ended. Chris is still kind of trying to figure things out, trying to figure out the best strategy. Started out playing really aggressive the first game uh, that he returned. And then he's kind of gone back to trying to chip more balls in play, using his slice to keep it low. And if I can just out rally, I think I'll have a good chance. First serve percentage for me is still a huge problem. I've started to resort to just more trying to spin in a first serve and add a little bit of tiny kick to it just to keep it in play. Uh, and hopefully we can keep it rolling. Would love to finish it out. Uh, quickly and not let Chris get time to get his bearings and start formulating a strategy. So we'll see how it goes. ...by playercourts.com, which is an incredible resource for finding players in your local area, coaches in your local area. Basically, you can just dial up whatever courts are closest to you and then tell player court, do you want somebody to train with? Do you want somebody to do practice matches against? Do you want somebody to come give you a lesson? And then somebody magically shows up for you to hit with. So if you go to playercourt.com slash ET right now, they're offering a discount just for viewers of these essential tennis matches. And because they're sponsoring these matches, they're literally making them possible. So if you appreciate that, go click the link down below, go to playercourt.com slash ET and just show your support. Just, just go check it out, even if you don't sign up. Big thank you to Scott and Nate for their incredible resources and also for the, the discount for Essential Tennis viewers. Prospects out there, Wisconsin Lutheran College, come play there. I'm not even moving my feet, I'm not even, it's like I'm not even trying. Stop sweating. Nice shot. Kind of intriguing because uh, I know they he said that him and Mark you know are friends in that instance how which know. really causes you to call into question the the character and right. judgment of right sorry <laughs> of Ryan in the first place but what, what about being friends with Mark that uh, just does Mark have friends by the way does he really have I mean friends I guess for Mark. <laughs> So to be friends with Mark, 
you have to have a sense of humor and you have to be able to just <laughs> you have to be able to just un- like understand and be able to swallow his sense of humor as well. He you have can, to absorb can, his markness. Yes, he can he can rub a lot of people the wrong way. Uh, no. You have to be able to pound Taco Bell. Yes. You got to you 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 got to know how to ride that roller coaster. For better or for worse. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty dollars. What's funny about Mark is <laughs> not the time for that. <laughs> as much crap as we just talked about him, he's gonna love every second of oh, it. Oh, hundred percent. However much of it makes it in the video, he's gonna be like, "Yes." <laughs> By the way, also like and su- subscribe to Mark's Mark Sands- YouTube, YouTube uh, channel. No, YouTube, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, if Ryan stayed, like we said before, like we wouldn't ever expect somebody to just write it out, and right. like, but he has. Yeah. Uh, if he breaks this game, it'd be a really impressive showing uh, by Ryan, especially 100%. his first time on the court. Yeah. What I'm trying to do right now is just put balls back in play and make everything difficult for Chris. So he's in his head right now. He's starting to make some mistakes. This is the last time that I want to try to hit huge winners, try to hit huge serves. This time to just high percentage balls in play and see if he's going to take himself out of that hole. Um, And thus far, he's been missing a lot of those shots that I've just been getting back in play. So right now, just let it be your opponent versus your opponent. Take yourself out of the equation. Just don't miss shots right now. And that's all I'm trying to do. And then pro tip, be as nice to your opponent as humanly possible because they're going to give you the benefit of the doubt on more calls than if you're a jerk to them out there when you're playing. So just always be nice in general, be super nice to your opponent, and everyone will have a better time out there, especially you because you'll get those calls. (sighs) Well, I'm sure this is not very enjoyable to watch. Uh, I'm just not doing very well. Very disappointed with the way I played the first set, and then just just emotionally, I'm not doing very well. I really want to do something here and get some. I'd love to get back in this set. I've got to change my movement, and I've got to start fighting for the points. It's very difficult right now. So, um, all right, we'll see what I can do. The hardest part sometimes in tennis can be closing, so I'm hoping to get some decent returns back in play right off the bat and get this game started. I don't want it to go into a complicated situation. I want to try and finish it right here. All right, what's the call here, Trace? Does uh, Chris turn it around? Honestly, just looking at him, I... I it's like, I, I never want to be that person where it's like, you know, you, you, know, you, 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 give you don't it, give it a like, chance, I, yeah. No, jeez. Thing yeah, he's thinking about the the walk to the parking yeah. lot right now. He's got to do something to make him think about it. Yeah, put the seed of doubt in right. there and water it out just a mm-hmm. little bit and mm-hmm. let it let it sprout mm-hmm. and slowly grow. Mm-hmm. Hey. <laughs> 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 life stop trying to go so deep just go short that's been working better could that be the seed did the seed just fall in the in the soil well, put some water on it Spr- just sprinkle just sprinkle, sprinkle a little, a little bit on there chris give it some love <laughs> yep good serve definitely picked his level back up. I'm gonna have to battle for these final points. Chris Love 15. Not the player that. Mm-mm. 
Oh. Oh. It's a good shot, Ryan. Thanks. I love seeing the, the scrap, yeah. though, from, from and just Chris. And just the fight where he's just like, he's going to make him play. And he yeah, did exactly I, that. He made... He made Ryan come up, come up with a good shot. I think Chris has like some mm-hmm. some belief at this point. Mm-hmm. Fifteen all. Why is he going do score? There we go. There it is. Going up. Yeah, I don't, no, don't like that, Pat. Don't, that I like. That's better. Yeah. Now there you go. Really sorry, Chris. My bad. That's a full-on Midwest nice uh, apology on the neck grade. That my bad. <laughs> like like he did something wrong. Like he slapped his. Wife or something. <laughs> it's the uh, it's it, it, it's it's the Wisconsin. Oop, sorry. Oop. <laughs> it should be a requirement. Uh, say oop after every neck guard. Yep. Oop, sorry. Oop. Let me just squeeze right past you. Forty fifteen. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard anybody say my bad after a neck guard. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, I need oh, these sets. That's yep. a nice ball. Make Ryan have to make him cover that court on that forehand. Oh. There it is. Oh. Yep, good point. No. Sorry, where are we at? 30 40? Mm-hmm. Oh, snap. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Jeez. <laughs> Big Dude, jug. I'm big so jug. happy big jug. I big didn't jug. say it. Big jug. I'm so happy I didn't well, say what could possibly go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Still a big double. Still big. Yeah. So that was match point. <laughs> We're pulling a two for losing track. Dude, yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You gotta be joking me. Boy, Chris. Oh my gosh. Wowie. <laughs> That's a good ball, deep middle. That's a good ball. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Oh, Chris is such a grinder, dude. <laughs> Such a grinder. And he's not. Cause he's not. He, he would rather. <laughs> Back and roll the coast. Oh wow. Wow. <laughs> I feel like I just played that point. Yeah. I'm exhausted, and I'm sitting in, and I'm sitting down in a booth. Playing, guys. Great job, Great guys. Playing, Chris. Nice match. Yeah, was yesterday's loss and this loss is, I think, going to be be really tough uh, for Chris. He, I, I would guess, he probably feels like this setup, this matchup, probably he feels like set up really well for him. Right, I agree. On paper, like, yeah. On, on paper, he's got to really like this uh, this matchup. Yeah. So to have that result in the second set, I, mean, I think, and the first set too, it's yeah. got to be so disappointing. I think, I think honestly, the biggest difference was on those big points. The difference was when it came down to it, <clears throat> he either forced Chris to make an error or he hit a winner. And and on some of those, where if Chris would have made a couple of those forehands and swung it, yeah. unfortunately, 
he made he was making unforced errors on us when he needed a big a big shot or a big winner he wasn't you know he wasn't making them but at the same time then when he's trying to apply the same pressure to ryan ryan was coming up with the shot chris was doing a great job at squeezing yeah. squeezing the noose squeezing the rope and you know, and ryan was just going like nope i i'm going to find, I totally I'm agree. Going to find a shot ryan was very clutch yeah like uh, the the points where it would have been totally understandable for him to have a little bit of a lapse sure. or like to take his foot off the gas sure. a little bit, he really never did that, and that's one of the hardest things in tennis to do. It's, Wait, it's, when you it's, have a lead, to it's, it's why the big three have had such a stranglehold mm-hmm. on the top of the game because no. you have to be perfect to take them down, and if you show a little bit of a lapse, mm. they are gonna they're, gonna they're make, right there they're gonna make you pay for it. Yeah. That was a really tough match uh, between Chris and I. He definitely was great at getting the ball back in play. Uh, I feel like he wasn't probably on his best game having to drive all the way up and playing a match already uh, this week here. But it was really great to be able to play him. I honestly like playing players like that because it gives you a chance to kind of dictate the point and really shows you where your weakness are and where your strengths are. I felt like my strength was dictating with my forehand. I was able to grind back as well. So I liked those two things. First serve percentage was horrendous after those first like three service games I had, which I wish I could have done better on that end of it. Double faults were killer too. I was lucky to get out of that last game. I played some really tight points, had some really tight serves that I just tried to push in instead of actually going for, which was a mistake. Uh, net play also was a big issue for me. I could have put away a lot more points sooner if I was just more confident in my overhead. Um, but I felt like I played my game fairly well, had a decent performance. It was great to be able to play here in the essential tennis court um, after seeing it on YouTube so often and knowing so many people associated with it. It was really fun and uh, just thanks to the essential tennis guys for having me. It was a blast to play. Well, I picked it up a little, I mean, <laughs> I picked it up a little bit and started running some balls down. That was just too little too late. And I had that, that game there, I had an ad point, got a short forehand and I just I, I, like leaned back when I hit it. Just super disappointing. I, I apologize to the world uh, for this today. I just emotionally, I'm not, I didn't have, just not doing very well. So I hope that I get another opportunity. Um, this is not, this is not me, what I showed. Uh, so hopefully Ian will give me another shot. So um, just super disappointed it's gonna be a really long drive home, so. Thanks.